One. I wonder if there's any hip hop fans out there. Get ready to dance. landed me here and there and a lot of kindness from a lot of people. People who cared about me and saw that I was confused uh, and tried to help. I guess I just didn't, I didn't believe anything that was happening to me. I would just do it for a while and then quit and do something else. And eventually I was kind of hoping that some identity would rise out of all the, like the drifting and the sort of the abnegation of self in a way. And slowly but surely it did. It wasn't an identity that I really was happy to find, but it was there. So when I'm writing songs, I'm trying to find, uh, you know, I'm trying to name the, the, the ghosts in my house. <laughs> and, and I think by naming them, they're not as fearsome. You played the song, you said, Dad, it's sad way too long. I pulled you close, and I held you in my arms. Because I think everyone should listen, really listen to the lyrics of any of his songs, and uh, it'll get you out of that rut in life, and it'll make you, like, just, I don't know, go somewhere good. I'm known for sad loner songs. And now when I sit down to write a sad song, because sometimes I'll write some sad music that needs words to it. When I do that, it's really hard for me to go back to that world and, and represent it with any sincerity because it's behind me. It's like a town behind me. But I'm, I'm headed to my own little personal Jerusalem. <laughs> All right. We thank you for listening tonight. Lots of great music to come.